guys, this week I thought uh, let's talk about the arpeggiator in uh, Zebra because we haven't talked about it that much I think and the first thing you need to do um, to use it is set this mode to arpeggiator in the global effects page I think normally it will be set to uh, polyphonic which you can change it here and then when we go to the ARP control page there um, are a lot of there's a lot of stuff that we can change here for example we can change the tempo pretty straightforward and then we can say the um, ARP order and this basically well, this is kind of a complicated story but uh, when you play notes on your MIDI keyboard then um, the arpeggiator is gonna put all those notes in a note buffer and um, this is the way he orders those notes and if you say by note he's just gonna um, rearrange everything that you play in uh, norm normal uh, logical MIDI CC numbers and if you say as played it's gonna remember the order uh, of which you uh, play, the, play the notes which you can set that to default then you have different kind of loops forward, backwards, um, forwards and backwards etc and then um, we have the octaves that is gonna go up each step so if you if you set it to one it will automatically uh, sound as an arpeggiator already where it goes up one octave and then down you can hear that more clearly on a slower speed and if I set it to two it's gonna go up two octaves so it's gonna go zero one uh, two Um, so we can set that to zero right now because we're gonna we're gonna make our own notes. So now it will just sound like this. Then we have the amount of steps. So as you might have noticed, it jumps back right here. You see the the red dot where the sequence is at, and that's because this is set to eight steps. But we actually have sixty steps available. So if we set this to sixteen, now it's gonna go to the end. And then we have uh, portamento or glide. And then we have um, these steps here, and you can set it to uh, same uh, to jump to the first, to the last, or just to the next. And we're gonna leave it um, on next for now. Then we have the note length. And this is pretty interesting, um, although it's also a little bit risky to um, play with this because now um, these are set to 16 notes and that means that the order is uh, a total length of uh, one bar, I think. But if we change any of this, it will, um, the total time will also change. So if you change something, you have to make sure that it's um, that if you want to loop it, that it's gonna be the same uh, the same length overall, and um, you're not adding notes because then then your bar will be uh, longer than the other bars in the arrangement. I hope that makes sense. Um, then we have the gate, and this is um, well, yeah, we can call it the gate. This is how long the gate opens to let the note through. And we can set it very short. And we can set it to um, not close at all and go immediately to the next note. And then it doesn't sound like an arpeggiator anymore. So why would you do that? Well, the fun, I'm gonna set it to 8 steps for now. The fun only starts when you um, s start to enter different notes because now it's just a long sustained note but we can set this to 3, 0, 3, uh, 5 um, so then th that can be pretty useful and um, here you can 
say um, how many nodes the arpeggiator goes up or down. So this is not from C, but this is uh, from the node that you're playing. And now we can change one or two steps here. Set to 16. Um, so that's pretty cool. But another thing we can use here is um, these ARP mods and that's basically the arpeggiator modulation and we can just draw in here and we can drag up or down and the center will be zero so we can do that and let's just do it a bit randomly um, that's enough and now when we open a filter here and we choose right click on the modulation slot we can choose ARP mod and we have two so our, the normal ARP mod is um, this one here and ARP mod 2 is the, the one at the bottom here so we can choose that as a modulation source so that's pretty cool um, um, just sort of like a classical, classical, not classical, but a classic, uh, classic synth sound, starting to be. Has a little bit of uh, 303 character. And we can exaggerate that by using the, um, where is it? Exo phase effect and um, if you want to know uh, everything about these effects you might have seen my new course on uh, the zebra oscillators and I explain all this stuff there and um, I also explain that I really like the exo phase effect because it gives this weird sound this should be set to the normal art mode and now another thing we can do that um, is easy to overlook is that we can use this swing setting here on the global effects page so the arpeggiator is set to 16 so let's set this one to 16 as well and then we can give it a little bit of swing, or shuffle. that um, ARP modulation on basically anything we want so we can use a bandpass filter here for example band works it's a bandpass and band reject and let's use the ARP mod and we can still use the envelope of course and we might just use um, the second art mod on the envelope decay I think that is pretty cool so then we go to the ARP mod 2 <laughs> that's Dutch ARP mod 2 
And we can make the, um, the steps shorter or longer with the um, arm bar. And you can do the same with these gate settings, but I like doing stuff differently. And you have a little bit more control here. Oh, I got another great idea. How awesome would it be if we modulate the wet of the reverb uh, with an ARP with an ARP mod? That would be cool. I hope reverb wet like that. I'm gonna disable this one for now. Ah, <laughs> that's a good. Okay, wait, wait. Um. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, fun stuff you can do once you have the arpeggiator running. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sorry. I'm gonna do a quick example with a little bit more um, ambient sound. I'm gonna go for a new patch. I'm gonna try to make a little bit of a nicer sounding arpeggiator. Um, arpeggiator. And then we set this all to the longest value, so then it's going to go immediately to the next note without uh, you hearing it re trigger. set the steps to 16. What's also a good, uh, cool idea, if I disable the reverb for now, is to play with the attack settings um, while you're using the arpeggiator. That's pretty cool. Oh, I guess I guess then you can, of course, have the gate setting. So if I set it to eight for now and I give it a, a three. You might recognize that sound, it's uh, it's used a lot. You get sort of these great melodic uh, melodic bands. You can make also uh, movie types, movie cinematic sounds with this. 
I know um, Hans Zimmer uses um, a lot of the arpeggiator stuff and a lot of and this attack trick also to get these scary movie pads. Um, so yeah, that's already getting uh, too long of a tutorial for uh, YouTube, but um, I hope you have fun with this and um, I hope you see, uh, see that there's a lot of great stuff you can do with this and uh, come up with cool ideas and uh, modulate weird stuff uh, with the arpeggiator and we're gonna look at um, these functions some more also um, in the next few weeks because those are pretty awesome as well and you can al already start with it uh, yourself experiment with um, different uh, buffer stuff and with the uh, different loop modes so thanks for watching and uh, see you next week